How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing an all-star ballot for this year. We're way too early, I know, but we're just going to have some fun. One of my friends, Draftneck Mark, made this video a couple days ago, and I thought it was a great video to make. I thought it was a lot of fun. His link will be down in the description below. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, I don't know what you're doing. He makes great baseball content. So down below in the description, his channel will be linked. So last week, I've been on vacation. I literally flew in last night. I got home at like 1.30. I tried to get a rebuild done for today. I was just way too tired. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I, I literally look like just, I look like a zombie in front of the camera. I literally just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I want to make a short video for you guys today. I can like recharge, get some sleep in and then make a video, make a rebuild for you guys tomorrow. Maybe even double upload for you guys tomorrow. But today we're going to be talking about the all-star ballot. I know MLB changed the way the voting system is. The first month is like everybody's on the ballot. And then the, the next month is the final like voting system where there's only a couple names per position. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take one ballot. We're going to do who I want to see in the all-star game. And then the second ballot is who I think deserves to be in the all-star game. So I've already been talking for quite a bit, kind of give you a rundown of where I've been the last week, why you only had one video, where I got this video idea from. So let's just, let's just hop into it. Who do I want to see in the American league so let's 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 take a look who do i want to see i want to see i want to see someone who's going to make the game exciting that's really what i want to see when it comes down to the all-star vote or the all-star ballot because you know the all-star game i want it i want it to be fun i want it to be exciting i feel like the game's been kind of dying a little bit um so i want to see g-man Choi, in. kind of kind of but you know he's kind of a meme i kind of think that's the thing but Maybe Matt, Matt Olsen's not hit. You know what? Carlos Santana. I think he he would make the game kind of fun. He's been kind of having a quiet year in terms of not a lot of people are talking about him, but he's hitting the ball very well. I think that'd be kind of cool to see him in. And then first base. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Rizzo. He's just a fun guy to watch play baseball. You know, he's just he's just, just there. Yeah, that's who I want to see. Second base, Tommy LaStella, 100%. I think it's just kind of unreal how well he's doing this year and i think it should just be really cool to see him play second base um for the american league for the national league i already got my guy lined up Derek dietrich is playing second base for the national league i think that would be a lot of fun to see i think he would make it he would make it a lot of fun i think he would just i think he would make a show out of it um what is this what is this uh, third base for the american league um i don't think he deserves it but I do want to see Vlad in it. Um, I know there's definitely people who deserve it a lot more. Hunter Dozier's having a great year. Bregman's having a good year. Um, you know what? We're going to go with Bregman. Um, I still think he's going to make the game a lot of fun and exciting to watch. He's, he's just a good baseball player. So I think we're going to go with Bregman. Um, Matt Chapman's not a bad one either. Uh, we're, we'll go... Even Yohan Moncada's not having a bad year. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna go. I'm just gonna change my vote. I want to see Vlad Jr. in it. I think that would be cool. I know it's not gonna happen, but that'd be kind of cool. Um, third base for the National League. I think Rendon there would be really cool. He's having a great year. A lot of home runs, good RBIs, very good OPS. He's good defensively, very underrated. Um, but let's let's take a look at the other ones. Bryant's not having a bad season either, but. Nolan Arenado. He's just a lot of fun to watch play baseball. He hits the ball well, good defensively. He's he's just crazy. Tim Anderson, not even gonna consider like anybody else. I think he would be a great player to watch. I think he would definitely make it a show. Um Javi Baez too. I think he's gonna make that game a lot of fun to watch. So the shortstop, I think, is gonna be the quick and easy answers. Two electric players who are just gonna make it fun to watch. Catcher. You know what? Let's do it. I want to see Williams Astudio behind the dish. 270. I mean, he's not hitting horribly. His OPS is kind of meh. But let's let's see La Tortuga behind the dish for sure in the American League. I think that's just that'd be kind of cool. He's he's the poster child for showing individuals that fat people can run fast. Like that was I'm pretty sure that was his quote last year. Chubby people can run fast. Something like that. I think that would be really cool to see behind the dish in the All Star game. Wilson Contreras great great catcher defensively offensively he's having his best season i love wilson Contreras. solid catcher all right outfield now i'm gonna go national league because i already know who i want 
um, American League, I still got to think about it. I want Acuna. I want Bellinger. And I want... Who is the other one? Because I kind of looked at the list already just so I can have an idea of who I want to see out there. But um, where is he? Uh, Yelich? I think it was Yelich. I do want to see Verdugo. He's having a decent year. Like He's actually having a really good year. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool to see uh, Verdugo out there. But I think Yelich... You know, he's the one to go with there. So for the American League, I'm going with players who I want to see. That would make it really cool um, and have a lot of fun. I think Michael Brantley is like a low-key player who could make it in. He's having a phenomenal season. You know, he plays for the Astros too. He's kind of a big team. But I want to see Joey Gallo. I want to see, where is he? Austin Meadows because he's just having a phenomenal season. Where Where is his name? There he is. Austin Meadows, Joey Gallo. And I want to see George Springer. I think that'd be cool. I know Mike Trout. Is probably going to get in the votes. We'll talk about that in a sec. But I think seeing these three, I think that game is going to be really fun with the outfielders for sure. And then the DH. Mm, to change it up. Let's let's just go Vogelbach. Because he's you know he's just all he's going to be doing is going to be swinging for the fences. So let's go with Vogelbach. I want to see. I just want to see him just lumberjack swing i want to see him crush a ball i want to, that's what i want to see so here's the team really quick um this is who i want to see i think carlos santana very underrated this season i think that'd be kind of cool to get him in the all-star game rizzo listella dietrich junior vlad jr arenado we got bias tim anderson astudio behind the dish let me see it let me see la tortuga behind the dish Contreras. i think this would be a fun game to watch get them in the starters so there's the first ballot Let's get the second ballot set up for who I think deserves to be in it. So, I mean, at this point, I was just kind of thinking of players who'd be a little bit fun to make, like, just make it a show, make it an interesting and fun, exciting game to watch. So now let's get to the ones I think deserve it. All right. Reset the ballot. Let's let's do this. So first base, I think Josh Bell 100% deserves it. Great year. This is like, this is the Josh Bell the Pirates want. This is the Josh Bell that they saw the potential in. He looks unreal this season i think he 100 deserves that at first base for the net uh for the american league i think i still think it's carlos santana i think he's the one that deserves it he's having a really good year not a lot of people are like talking about him like he's like sliding under the radar solid first baseman this year second base um again i think la Stella deserves it too you know whip merrifield's having a good year as well um but man i want i think well i think we're gonna go with wit i think it i think wit deserves it. i know he's been moving around a lot second base and outfield for the royals but we're gonna go wit for sure um and then let's see second base for the national league cesar hernandez is having a great year Catel Marte is having a great year he was kind of he was my second option for the National League at second base because I think he would make the game very exciting. He plays the game with a lot of passion. You can see it. He's an electrifying player. He's got good speed. I'm going to go Marte. I think he deserves a little bit more than Hernandez. Um, his OPS is higher, better average, better home runs, more RBIs. I think offensively, he's just having a little bit better season. Um, looking at third base, Matt Chapman for sure. Hunter Dozier is having a good year. Johan Moncada too. So Gio Urshela, I mean, he's he's not having a bad season either. So when we look at it, Rafael Devers, I forgot he was doing very well. I think he, he's another player that not a lot of people have been talking about. Um, So, man, this is tough. When I look at the numbers, just purely numbers based, I want to go Hunter Dozier. So I think we're going to go Hunter Dozier. I think he deserves it. Arenado still deserves it for third base. I know there's a couple other options. Chris Bryant. Eduardo Escobar, um, you know, Rendon, Turner's having a good year. But, you know, these numbers, there's, he's hitting almost 350. Nolan Arenado for sure. All right, shortstop. Tim Anderson this month has been very quiet. He's he's literally gone from extremely hot to start the season to very cold. Um, so as much as I want to pick him, I don't think he deserves it. Xander Bogarts is having a great year. Um, Elvis Andrews. He's not doing too poorly either. Carlos Correa just got hurt, unfortunately. I think that's going to hurt him a little bit. Lindor, 
He's having a good year. Um, Mondesi, but when you look at Jorge Polanco, I know he's not the best defensively, but he's having a great season this year. Offensively, whew, I think I think he deserves the vote for sure. Um, Glaber Torres, I think he's more of a second baseman. Um, if he was in that second base category, I would have thrown him in the, the starter for second base for sure. I think he's he's quietly becoming one of the, the best second basemen in the league. Um, shortstop, let's take a look because I know Baez is having a great year. Jose Iglesias is having a solid season as well. Gene Segura, um, Fernando Tatis. But again, I still think it's Baez, the power numbers. He's been very quiet the last few weeks. I know he has been. I, he's been struggling a lot. But I'm, I'm still going to go with Baez. I still think he's the, the deserve. The oh my gosh. What am I saying? He is deserving of the vote at short. I still think I need a little, a little bit more sleep. I think I'm falling. I still think I'm falling apart here. Um, Catchers. Grandal having a great year i didn't realize he had that many home runs this season he's having a solid season um what else we got here let's see let's see real muto but again i still think wilson i think he's being consistent he's hitting the ball very well defensively he's just known for being a good catcher i still think he's deserving of that boat here this is where it gets tough because you look at these numbers those aren't bad numbers either christian vasquez not too bad um gary sanchez crazy uh, obviously defensively he's questionable but you know he's still gonna hit the ball very well josh fegley is having a career year omar narvaez james mccann there's definitely some good hitting american league catchers so i still think it's gonna be a narvaez i still think he deserves it you know ops isn't as high as fegley or sanchez but the average is better the home runs is a little bit higher than fegley you know what no we'll, we'll go fegley We'll go Fagley. I think he deserves it. Those numbers aren't bad at all. Seven home runs, 33 RBIs, almost an 850 OPS. We'll go with Fagley. I know you're looking at Gary's numbers and you're like, well, he's not hitting too poorly. You know, he's got a lot of home runs, got a lot of RBIs, but the OPS is high. But I think, I think what you, oh man, we'll go Fagley. I think he deserves it. I think he does. Alrighty, outfield now. Um, Let's take a look. When we're comparing, we're comparing numbers here. You know, Joey Gallo is having a great year. This, these are career numbers for Joey Gallo in terms of average and stuff. Like he's he's actually playing very well. He's showing defensively that he can play all across the outfield. Um, I think he's having a great, great season. But um, even Trey Mancini, he's having a good year too. Austin Meadows, I think, deserves it. He's having a great average, good home runs, good OPS. He's hitting the ball very well. Even Tommy Pham's having a great year. Josh Reddick's having a good year. There's some good hitting outfielders this year. I think George Springer deserves it as well. Um, Mike Trout, he's not having a bad season. But when you look at what what other people are doing, you know, he's he's pretty comparable in terms of offensive numbers to a lot of these outfielders. Um, I think Michael Brantley deserves it. I think he's very underrated this year. It would be kind of cool to see him. You know, he's been a very, very good pickup for the Astros. You know, I think he was he was amazing. This is a great pickup for the Astros. I think he deserves it this year. I know there's players who are hitting for better power and stuff like that, but I still think he deserves it. Um, and then when we look at the rest of the, there's this is a tough pick. There's a lot of good hitting outfielders this year. And, ooh, I don't want to ramble on too much longer, but I think George Springer deserves it. He's having a phenomenal season, hitting above 300, good power numbers. I think George Springer does it. I'm not saying that Mike Trout won't get in the vote, but I think he deserves it. And then we look at... He, here <laughs> it's crazy i think hunter pence deserves it he's hitting <laughs> crazy average good home runs good amount of rbis good ops call me crazy i think hunter pence deserves that dh spot so let's ho let's hop back here so we're in the outfield let's take a look here cody bellinger 100 deserves in like he's he's killing the ball melky cabrera low-key doing really good um David Dahl's not having a bad season. Let's take a look. Who else? Who else? Who else? Scott Kingery? Not too bad. I know he's he's been kind of slowly working more at bats and stuff like that, but I still think he's having a decent season so far. David Peralta's not too bad. Um, who else? Juan Soto? Not bad. Not too bad at all. Verdugo? Obviously, the home runs aren't there, but that's that's solid, and he's killer in the field. Um, I think Yelich deserves it. And this is where it kind of comes down to... Who's hitting for good average? 
who's hitting a lot of home runs, who's hitting a lot of RBIs, who's got a good OPS and stuff. You know, we're looking at Acuna is obviously a player that's possible. Blackman's not having a bad year at all. Like those, those are good numbers. Um, let's see who else. Mm, Bryce Harper's he's he's been heating up. Definitely been heating up for sure. Um, but I don't know. I don't think he's like a player that deserves to be in the All Star game. I don't think his name alone. You know, you're looking at Juan Soto. He's very similar and he's hitting the ball better. So. Ooh, this one's kind of taking too long, and I don't want to take too much longer. So you know what? Let's just go with um maybe Charlie Blackman. He might be my pick. Crazy, call me crazy, but he might he might be the pick. He might be the man that I go with. You know, he's hitting pretty good this season. Um, you know what? I think him and Soto are like almost identical. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, they're like almost identical. And that's why it's kind of difficult to select them. You got the clear two favorites in Bellinger and Yelich. But who do you go with here? I don't... Let's go... Let's just go Charlie Blackman. I feel like he's been hitting the ball very well. Good amount of home runs too. You know, it's not bad. Definitely. It's a, it's a weird pick. You know, Juan Soto is very similar. Everyone was going to be like, well, why not Bryce Harper? I just don't think he's playing to an all-star level. You know, when you compare him to Cody Bellinger, who's playing in right field, Cody Bellinger is hitting almost 100 points higher than him. He's he's actually hitting more than 100 points higher than him. That's crazy to think about that Cody Bellinger is killing it in terms of what Bryce Harper should be doing. So, yeah, I, it's, it's a weird all-star game. Some players I would never consider all-stars. You know, Josh Bell this year, I would have, prior to this year, never would have considered an all-star. Dozier, same thing. But Dozier's killing it. Bell's killing it. Josh Fagley's having a career year. Jorge Polanco's killing it. Like, some interesting names I know for sure, but they look like players who deserve to be all-stars this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's two all-star ballots, who I think deserves to be in it, and who, or yeah, who I think deserves to be in it, and also my picks, like who I want to see in it. And it probably rambled on a little bit too much, but like I said, I wanted to kind of get a video out for you guys so that tomorrow... I can get you guys some rebuilds and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. Like I said, we're almost at 10K subs. Let's try to hit it this weekend. I'll catch you all in the next video. Oh, what am I saying? Go go leave a comment. Who do you guys want to see in the All-Star game? Who do you guys think deserves to be in it? Let me know down below. I know your opinions is going to be different than mine. So I want to see where you guys, what you guys think. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.